Hello my friends, John Rufa here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at Keystone North America, the Deluxe Edition. So, let's see what's inside this big guy. And as usual, folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel because it really helps me out. So, the box art is definitely cool. I like that they have these beautiful illustrations. They show the game kind of in full, uh, ready to be played, which is awesome. Gives you a little information about it. But the real key thing is that you see the game laid out, which I think is fantastic. So let's go ahead and take uh, take a look at what we got here. All right. Come on. Now, I did get this deluxe from my uh, game store. I didn't do the Kickstarter, but I think it's the same, regardless of whatever you, you do for it. Okay. So opening up the inside of the box, we have a very nice illustration here. Uh, just kind of helping with that overall theme, which is cool. You've got a uh, thank you note, which is nice. And then we have, go right to the rule book here. So the rule book, it's about the size of the box a little bit. Looks like we've got our setup for two to four players. Lots of examples and pictures here. Looks like it's not going to be that tough to learn this one. And I don't think this is at all a very heavy game either. I kind of looked at it beforehand. And um, as far as watching some playthroughs and such, it doesn't seem to be. And then you got the solo mode right here. And I heard there are 20 different, um, 20 different things to do for the solo mode, which is cool. And then in the back, the skills token guide help you with that now the first thing of the deluxe is this um actual neoprene mat which is about two-thirds of the reason i decided to spend the extra money i do like a nice little organizer for cards and this one had really really nice looking art i really like nature scenes especially those from a fall standpoint and you can tell like this one has you know just a really pleasing aesthetic here and that's cool. I like it. It makes it immediately just brilliant as far as the colors are concerned. Makes me want to play it right away. So I think that's really cool. Then you've got these, which I think are part of the organizer that um, they were saying that the deluxe comes in. But that really wasn't the selling point for me. Okay, and then we've got some tokens here. These tokens are the standard medium thickness. One to three over there and here's our skill stuff and then our other tokens research or whatnot so here is the journal which is kind of cool that they did this this is just some i don't know it's like an educational thing i guess and it shows all the different uh you know the the different campaigns you can do by yourself which is really cool and i think that's fun um, I think it's just a nice touch. They put all that information in there and effort, and that's great. Okay, getting deeper into the box now. We have the boards here. And in these, I think that the other part of the deluxe is that they are illustrated. I know they are. I'm assuming they will be illustrated on the other side. So the green side is the standard. But as we open them up... We see the nice illustration on the other side. So that's very nice. Again, very aesthetically pleasing. It's a nice west scene right there. Then you've got this, um, I guess, more green scene here. I don't know if really the west or wherever it is. More like, it's, it's almost like I can see some mountains in the background. Let's just say it's Appalachian style. Then we have this uh, with another fall scene, which just looks really, really nice. These colors are vibrant. They almost remind me of uh, stained glass windows. And then a nice northern winter scene right there, which is cool. So very nice there. We've got a scoring sheet here to help you do your rows, which I thought was pretty cool. It is double-sided, so that'll help with the longevity. We've got some different packages here to open up with. Um, my guess is different cards in them that will you know, change things up a little bit or whatever take a look at those um I, i'm not going to open those up just from a spoiler standpoint and then we have the cards 
and the cards themselves. Let's take a look at the quality. I did buy sleeves. I always buy sleeves. Those who have watched this channel know that I do that. But let's see if you need to buy sleeves based on what I can tell. Okay, so card quality. We have uh, texture on there, but they are a little thin. The artwork is very, very nice. As you can see, um, really well illustrated. I mean, this game looks like a joy to play, uh, but they are a little thin. So my recommendation for those who are worried about that sort of thing is go buy some 70 by 70 millimeter sleeves, and then you won't have to worry about it. But as you can see, the icons are pretty simple to see on the sides. The number is easy to see, but it makes it very nice to actually see your animal. I mean, and let's be serious. This is an abstract strategy game. Um, they put an animal theme to it to make it look nice, sort of like Meadow or Cascadia, right? I'm not saying that the gameplay is the same. I'm just saying those are kind of abstract games, but I really like them and actually still have them both in my collection. Um, and so you could definitely see very pretty artwork there. And then you have two more decks of similar style. I'm not going to open those up because I think you get the gist here of what we're doing. So that's it. I like what I see. I'm looking forward to digging in. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Whatever you play in the future, I hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.